We see the pictures that show how close this nation came to another school massacre. We told you last night about the bullets and bombs amassed by a student at the University of Central Florida in Orlando. And tonight, we track down the roommate accredited with making the 911 call that may have saved the campus. ABC's Matt Gutman is there. Tonight, the first video from police cameras tracking down a would-be killer. Body-mounted camera showing the moment cops with assault rifles discovered the body of James Oliver Siva Kumaran, along with his arsenal of mass murder. In the background, that fire alarm. Police say the shooter set it off so he could get students in the hallway and slaughter them. The suspected shooter pulled this fire alarm down, went back into his unit here, then he grabbed his guns. Apparently he went after one of his roommates who then fled into the bathroom. And that roommate, Araba Babahani, called 911. My just pulled a fire alarm and he's got a gun out. We spoke to him today. You said that he never made eye contact with you. He made eye contact with me when he pulled the gun on me. He yeah. just, that was the most, best eye contact I ever had with him. He looked me dead in the eye and he just raised the gun. Police say Babakani helped prevent a massacre. They say the shooter left behind a checklist, planning every step of the attack. The last two items, pull fire alarm and give them hell. As he did each thing, he actually scratched them off on the list. So that was, uh, and the list stops with pull the fire alarm. He had amassed uh, an arsenal, bombs, the, guns, ammo, we'll, and massive clips. And we learned tonight it could have been much worse. As you heard in, Packages in the, were found uh, in, in the, the college mailroom. Mail what uh, was in the mail waiting for the deceased were uh, two 22-round uh, magazines. There was also a Black Hawk tactical sling, and there was also a training DVD. In a short statement tonight, Siva Kumaran's parents say their son was a loner but had no history of violence. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Orlando.